that we set aside 70, up to $75,000 to start a ministry uh, to our community that would involve a food truck. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and the truck doesn't cost $75,000, but right. all the equipment for it, the parking for it, all the safety things for it, just laying out that investment, that initial investment to help us to go out into our community and build relationships through a food truck. Uh, and this has been something that God put on your heart and you brought to the pastoral staff and we prayed over it with you and, and felt like we, we wanted to get behind this. If you could, tell us a little bit about how that happened, how that vision came about, how it became a burden. Okay. Well, it's, um, it's not actually a food truck where we cook food. I just want to make sure that you understand that because that would require a lot more. It's yeah. more like a, a, a Ford Chesapeake truck where we go out, we deliver um, different supplies, and it's more like a concession truck. But let me explain this. Um, when I, some of you know that when I um, was diagnosed with epilepsy, I had to go six months without driving. And that was one of the most significant moments in my entire life because what God did during that time, he showed me that if you will stop and see people and actually ask them how they're doing, I'd be in the back of a car in in Uber and Lyft. Uber and Lyft would take me around places for six months and I would just ask people how you're doing or tell me about yourself. And people were so open to sharing about their lives and God used that really to show me that if we take time to look at people and have compassion for them and ask them how they're doing, they'll tell us, even as Christians. Um, So that became very evident in my life. And then I came to Will and the staff. I said, you know, our church is a very, very giving church, very loving church. So let's use our strength to, to go out and minister to other people. And, and provide opportunities to ask them how they are, to minister to them. It, and it can be anything from the homeless to caste. It can be from our schools. Uh, I, when I was thinking about this, there was a fire over at the uh, Great Bridge Middle. And I thought, how awesome would it be to have our, our trailer to drive over and after they're done say, you know what, we appreciate you. We love you. How can we pray for you? The, to the firemen, to, to the, the schools, to different, all across the country, the, well, not country, all across the, We're going maybe, big. worldwide, I don't know, but at least in Chesapeake for now. But how awesome would it be to have opportunities to meet people? And the scripture, I oftentimes think, God, what scripture, when, when Philip meets the eunuch on the road, mm-hmm. and, and the, the, the eunuch is, is asking questions, thinking about God, And Philip comes along at the right exact time. And I really believe that all of us at all the time have divine appointments where our paths are crossing with people who are searching. And if we would be willing to serve while other people are searching, I believe that we will see people baptized in our baptismal because of the efforts that we've made. I, that's the vision that I really, that's, I cannot not do it. I don't know any other way to say it. I just believe that God, I want to love God by trusting, obeying him. I want to love other people by seeing them, having compassion on them and serving them. And I want to love us by giving us the opportunity to do that. I'm not a salesman. That's, that's just my heart. And so that's what I'm asking or saying this morning, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, we appreciate you stretching us a little bit. Um, we have to get outside the walls. We have to get in our community. I think about ball fields that every Saturday are being used for games where perhaps there's an opportunity out there where we can start to meet families and have those spiritual conversations because that's really what it's all about. That's why we exist. Mm -hmm. We exist to have these conversations with our world, to glorify God, to have these conversations. And so I I just want to say thank you for taking a few moments and sharing with us this morning. And, And church, to be honest with you, we have a lot to celebrate of, of the many bridges that God has allowed us to build through the years. Uh, so many wonderful things have happened as a result of that, but also the bridges that he's giving opportunities for us to build now. And, and I just really am hopeful that we'll be, that we'll in faith take advantage of the things that God has laid before us. And let's see how he might transform and change lives as a result of it. It may be different. It may be outside the box a little bit, um, 
But I don't think that's a bad thing. As a matter of fact, I think that's some places where you really experience uh, the presence of God the most when you get uncomfortable and step outside the box. So anyway, Jesse, thank you so much for joining us. Let's thank Jesse for joining us having this conversation. And Chris, come on back.